so I'm just starting this vlog off. Remember, it's Eid today, so I'm shooting this on a Wednesday. So Eid Mubarak to you, Eid Mubarak to your family. Hope you had a great Ramadan. This is to everyone that's celebrating. And most importantly, around the world, the people who are not able to celebrate, Eid Mubarak to them also. Um, they should, people also that have going through really difficult times, should also be in our prayers. So I just want you to start off by saying that. So I'm just gonna do a workout in the gym. I like it when the gym's empty. You know, I'm gonna do a really intense workout. I'm gonna warm up on this bike, check this bike out. For a good, probably about 15 minutes. Then I'm gonna do some stretches, mobility exercises. Then I'm gonna go and do a three mile jog somewhere down there. And then I'm gonna, um, I've got a networking event tonight as well. I'm planning for my business mastermind coming up in two weeks. So yeah, I'll keep you posted on how today goes. But yeah. Let's go. Got my protein shake. Is that my belt? No, was it your belt? Oh, is it traffic? Blimey, how is it so much traffic? I thought it was holidays. Is, is everybody back to school now? All the kids. I've got an appointment in like four minutes. Ooh. Mm. Let me message her. Damn I mean, that's not good. What's her name? You send a picture to her on it, say, look, I'm in traffic. Right, anyway, what's happening everyone? Um, it's E today, so I've got a business networking event. That's what's happening today. I think we're jam packed, I've got no tickets left. I like to do these monthly ones, right? Because it's just so good, um, just so good to bring business owners, professionals, and just like industry leaders, influencers, just everybody together. So everybody can just network and just connect. Um, and you know what, from that you can build your personal brands, you know, you can establish who you are, you get to meet people. It's just, it's just good. You know, I swear like, like I charge 10 pound a ticket, but that's only for just so people show up there is no money to be made here. Um, you know, this is a five-star venue, so the hiring, I also offer, like, snacks and nibbles, like, ask the people that come. Um, just try to make it as friendly, as nice place as possible, do you know what I mean? So everyone can just enjoy and just in great company and just, like, hopefully meet new connections, right? Because, like, I know, like, how much it's helped me hugely and massively, these, like, certain networking events. Um, like, I usually, I used to go to the property ones a lot, right? 
the thing with, with, with the property ones was because property is such a small community, you get the same people again and again and again. And sometimes that can play on you. And then it might not be as productive as you want it to be. But mine's not a property networking event. Mine is a business networking event, which I do on the second Wednesday of every month, right? And like, think about it, like, is people from social media turn up? People that make websites, people that do uh, property, people, you know, all sort of different backgrounds in business. So it's just good to meet people and see like what, what you're up to, what you're up to. I had the lady last time and was it last time? Yeah, she, she came from Sydney, right? Not Obviously not to the event, but she was traveling. She came here for another something else. And then she thought, yeah, why not? I'll go there. Um, so, yeah, man, come down to the next ones. Uh, I'm on my way and we'll be late five minutes myself. That's no problem then. So what else is happening? Yeah, networking event, I'm gonna come back. Then I've, as soon as I get back from a networking event, which is probably going to be about half nine, I'm going to, um, I have to jump on a Zoom call because I have to um, jump on a, on a Zoom call with my marketing director because we need to discuss a, a new sales page that I'm doing. Guys, I promise you this, right? you know, this online work here, yeah? this online having an online business. It's not like you do it once and then it will pay you forever, right? It's it's constantly you have to tweak things up because you'll understand if you if you if you're doing it, but you have to constantly be checking things, checking messaging, making sure that your copy's right, your messaging is right. And as you grow and as you as you grow, your business grows, right? You want to bring new things in. Then when you have to bring new things in, then you have to tweak everything. So, yeah. So I need to jump on a Zoom call with him. Um, and then a few paperwork and pretty much that's it, really. I'm going to record a video today about um, how to create an online course, right? Now... I don't help at the moment, you know, where I, I don't help people create online courses, right? Because I work with people who already have established businesses and then I help them scale, right? There's a completely different thing. There's one person that helps you create a business from scratch. Um, and then there's another person who helps you scale what you already have, what you're already doing. Now, what I'm gonna be bringing in around May, June is something because I've noticed, like for example, me, I had a restaurant business, yeah? And even though I'm very seasoned and very good at business, I've never launched an online, well I have now, but like when I started, I didn't, I didn't ever launch an online course, right? So I, when I went to see my coaches and I was sat there with them and I was thinking well wait a minute you've got all this experience in business you can help people scale you can help people go from 20 to 40k from 50 to 100k but yet you can't um, launch an online course well no I did I couldn't and because it, it requires a different skill hey bro can you speed up a little bit please yeah. I'm thinking of time I don't want to get late is it is this 30 miles Really? Everyone's driving yeah. faster. Huh? Look, every, I'm sure this is 50 miles per hour. All right, so I'd never done an online course. So I had to sit down with someone and be like, listen, Ibi, you need to really get clear with your messaging. You really need to get clear with your pain points, who you're going to help. Because I was like, I can help everyone, right? But it doesn't work like that. You know, and I always say this, if you're going to help everyone, then you might as well help no one, right? Where's this guy going now? 
Bro, I think it might be a good idea to go straight because it might be traffic here on the left. Yeah. I'm just thinking about traffic. It's not 30 miles per hour here. Anyway, so, but what I'm going to be bringing, and I've realized this anyway, so where I was going with this was that now what I'm going to do is my um, community that I'm going to be launching hopefully in the next probably few months because I'm just refining I'm just making sure it's bulletproof tight um, by the way you can still work with me but it's, it's, I, I, I charge high ticket like half a day coaching and it's only for people who are already making a certain amount of money so for you that at the moment stuck at for you for use that stuck at 8k 10k 15k it's no point paying me for half a, for, for half a day coaching because um you are you know you're a few steps behind you know do you know what i mean that's for people who are already doing like minimum probably i would say 30k and 40k 50k and they want to just come and sit down with me and my team and be like what are you exactly doing want to understand your funnels you want to understand how your um how much ads you're spending and you know whatever else they want to know um, they want to know who my accountant is or how, how I've structured certain companies and whatever, blah, blah, blah. So for you that stuck at 8K, 10K, 15K, you, you don't need this uh, pay me for half a ticket coaching. But this other thing I will be launching, that will be really valuable to you because I know most of you watching this are it's business owners. Turn left on Street. What? Turn left. What's that noise? Is that jobs? Yeah. You, you have jobs? Ah, oh, it's a busy day today. Very busy, very busy. Yeah, do you charge more because it's busy? Annoying. Annoying? You can't complain. Um, is it, um, is it, um, is it more money today because it's Eid? Yeah, 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 probably. So the, a lot of people are not working. So the prices have gone up? Of course, yeah. All right. Anyway. So what I'm going to be launching here is for you, I'm going to give you a step by step, such a clear guide. If you want to, for example, because you're, I know most of you watching this have got exact established brick and mortar businesses. And what I mean by that is like shop front businesses, right? And if you want to launch an online course or something, you can also do that then. You can also do that. So I'm going to have a, like a, a module in there, which you will be able to do that. So. Yeah, I'm excited because look, you might want to, because look at me, like I've, I'm, I'm launching something, but in a year's I might launch something else. I might launch a course on how to start a YouTube channel and get to your first few thousand subscribers. I might launch something at the end of the year. So I also need to know bulletproof step by step how to launch these things, right? So anyway, I'm going to be doing something for you as well in that. So it's going to be really special. But anyway, cut long story short. If you want to launch an online course, the first thing you need to do is be good at something, right? Number one, be good at something. What can you teach someone? What can you help someone with? What pain point can you help them remove, right? What problem can you resolve for them, right? So once you get good at them two things, then the second, third thing you're going to do is you're gonna think, okay, well now I need to launch something, now I need to go and tell people I'm doing this, whether you do it on social media, whether you do a website, whether you do a sales page, whatever you may do, you need to then tell people that what you are going to be offering, right? I'm just giving you some like basic steps, I'm just running over them. After you've done that, then you need to think, okay, well I've told people what it is that I wanna do, how can I creatively now drive traffic to that? sales page or whether that you've done a video and that could be through more organic traffic or it could be through ads right you drive traffic towards what you're saying and then on the back you have like a form like put your name email phone number and you can have more questions like are you definitely like for example if um you want to launch a course on how to do a youtube channel it would be you you might have questions in there and say are you a creator do you like want to open up a YouTube channel just to make sure right so whatever it is you would have three four questions then when they come in then from there you need to think okay it could be like on they might read something a sales page or they might read uh, watch your video you need to give them a call to action right, Turn right on Store Street. whether they text you whether they book a call with you then when you book a call then after that what you must do 
is you must, wait a minute guys, just gotta go in the right way here. What you must do after that is that you need to learn sales. You need to learn how to. Turn left on Jetland Street. No, 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 it's not this one, it's the next one. Oh, next one, next one. Anyway, you need to learn sales. You need to learn to sell, right? You need to show people why your offer is good for them, for you to buy, for, for them to buy. Then, as you're selling to them, you need to learn how to close. Right? You can't just like sell what you're doing. You need to also close. You need to make sure they pull out their credit card if they're the right fit, remember. Not if they're not the right fit. If they align with what you're doing, then you need to also get good at closing. And once you get good at closing, then you need to be get really good at delivering what you're saying you're going to deliver. Once you've took that money, then it's time to deliver. That's when the real pressure starts. And at the very same time, you offer them value, you deliver, and then as you get more customers, and as you get a bigger customer, it's just here anywhere on the left, you then get that money, and then drive it back to the beginning, and then drive more traffic to what you're doing. Anyway, we're here. I'll go more into details on that video, but thank you. Stacy. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, good, thank it's you. It's nice to meet you. Come through. Did you find it okay? Yeah. Yeah? Very cool. Oh. <laughs> so I, um, so I like, I do a lot of things from here. Yeah. So I have a podcast. Oh, very nice. I, um, what's it called? Um, I do business networking events every month. Yeah. Which is today, by the way. It's by chance it was. And then I do business mastermind. So the venue where we're going to be doing the violin stuff from, that's going to be like in the back. But we don't have access to that because it's like, um, there's probably, it's probably booked out and they've got people there. But I feel like whatever you need to show me or whatever we need to do, we can do it here. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's that way fine. it will give me enough like idea of, you know... Yeah. Yeah. To make it louder, yeah. And it will look a bit yeah. 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 Just give me the difference, because I, I don't have a clue any, of anything about them. So you can just educate me from like step one. The only electric, uh, the only difference in electric and acoustic bars is that electric can get louder, so you can just pump the sound. The people can't hear me. Yeah. 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 If it's acoustic, I can't do much. Right. That's got it. it. So people have to come close in order to hear me. Yeah. Yeah. So it depends on what kind of vibe you're going for. Usually. So. So I'll show you like what sort of a setting it is, so you can understand. Yeah. The room's not like too big. How do you play that then? <laughs> so usually I bring my own uh, equipment as well, so I have like the little stuff that I... Yeah, yeah. So it'll be with some backing tracks as well. Yeah. It obviously won't be with lyrics, so it'll be just backing Yeah, 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 yeah. If you type in any YouTube video, that would be probably what I do. Okay. Got it. But that's fine, like if you tell me on one specific song you want me to walk around, I'll just memorize it. That's fine. Yeah, what, what I'm trying to think is like, because they're not going to be, that, the last person they're going to be expecting is you. Oh, uh, yeah. I right? So. so this is my thought. So, but I want it to be an experience for them yeah. where they walk out and think, wow, like usually we would get this at a wedding or we would get this at somewhere where we would go to a special occasion. Yeah. So I want them to think that. So, can you show me a little bit then? Yeah, sure. So, Yeah. If you have any preferences, like, I don't know, you really want me to play, you know, Kanye West, I can do that, but you have to give me enough notice for that. You can't just tell me to On the day. Respectfully, yeah, you can't just say, oh, can you play that? I, I do need to prepare as well. Makes sense. So whatever yeah. music you would like, I can learn it, that's fine, but usually people go for, like, Dua Lipa, Britney Spears, something that... Like, Classics. Time, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I can learn things not so much, so something that's popular right now. So for example, last summer I played Barbie for like a quadrillion times because the Barbie movie. Okay. So it really depends on what you think people like. Yeah, 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 yeah. So obviously, as you can imagine, I'll have backing tracks, but... So what space would you need? Like little spaces? Just like spring. Yeah, yeah. And do you walk around and do your thing? I can. Yeah. But not for everything. Got it. Because I don't want to obviously chip down expensive instruments. Makes sense. So I can do 
little bit along with just, you know, doing a classical concert. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I can't, you know, move around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Have a look at Sheeran. Right, Sheeran, he's popular, isn't he? He is popular, yeah. I like, I like Dua Lipa as well. And the way you said um, Britney. I think these yeah. are good. So, like, how long does one song last? Three minutes. I Three minutes, say. yeah. Let me just, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. I recognised that one. <laughs> what, what, what was that? Who was that? That was uh, toxic. Okay, cool. I think I think I'm 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 pretty confident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. Okay, so now few one question is that I think that's loud enough. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever you think's best. Obviously, if you just decide on the day that you want it louder, that's all I'm saying. I can't make it louder. I can make the music backing track. I'll make it, you know, less for me, so I can just play. Yeah. I'll walk with you. Yeah. I'll walk you that way because you don't get lost. Yeah, yeah. And we'll be recording on that day as well. So you know what we'll do for you if you want any reels or any videos, yeah. then I'll just send you them anyway. So it'll be good for you because you can promote your stuff. Yeah, you know, I'm terrible with that stuff. I should really keep saying I should do a TikTok or something like a YouTube channel. 100%. You'll, you'll blow up if you do it. <laughs> Honestly, because people really like that sort of stuff. Yeah, usually I wear just a, you know, pencil office dress. I'm thinking a nice dress, what looks really good, like, on video and everything. Like, sure, I can do that. Is there any specific colour you don't want me to do for the video? Thank you so much, Stacey. Okay, Appreciate okay. it. Well, we have a really good day, yeah, you too. too yeah, thank you. I think, I think that, was, uh, that was good. Was that good, yeah? Hey. Yo, guys, I'm planning something really special. So just stay tuned. I don't think we can put too much of it on the vlog because then people are watching this are going to know what's happening. So you can't put too much in the vlog of what's going on. Do you know what I mean? It needs to be... Um, So I don't know how you're going to do it. Maybe, hey, what's happening? Then maybe j just some snippets of the conversation. Uh, maybe like, hey, like nice to meet you here. And then I take in the back. What I was saying about the networking event, sorry, business network, don't put in. And then all of a sudden she says plays. And then um, coming back. Huh? Yeah, yeah, you can, you can keep this on if you want. Um, and then... When I was coming back, what I was saying here, don't put in, and then just put in here what I was saying, guys, listen, unfortunately what was happening there, I can't tell you, but it is a surprise, it's coming, just stay tuned in the next week or two, you will understand what's happening, but I'm really sorry, I couldn't inform you, I couldn't tell, I can't, I can't tell you what, I'm, what I was up to just then, but all I'm going to say, it was something really, really exciting. Alright, so we're just setting the waters up here, just making sure everyone's got drinks. Just setting the business networking event up. Need to have my protein shake, having my protein shake. And this big round table, which doesn't even move, can have the snacks and nibbles up here. So, yeah. Let's see this protein shake. Let me tell you something about this protein shake. So, I've got a protein shake which has 36 grams of protein in each scoop. So, what I do is I put like um, 250 ml water 
in, in this and then in this flask, you know, thing. And I put two and a half scoops of uh, protein, which takes my protein to over 70 grams. And then I'll obviously give it a good mix and have that. Because I weigh around 150, 155, I need to have minimum one gram per one kg of protein, right? That makes sense. So I try to get like 75 in, in that. And then the rest, I just make up for it like in two meals and a small meal. So that's what I do. Because in one meal, there'll be like one, about 35, 40 grams. And then in another one, it'll be around four, about the same. So that takes it to 150. Or I'll have like one big meal and then I'll have like two short meals. So that's how I get my protein in. I might need more glasses here, I think. But guys, check this out, how beautiful this place is. This is where we do monthly networking events on the second Wednesday of every month. So if you're not obviously here tonight, then make sure you come to the next one. Like, especially if you're a local Manchester business owner or a professional, like it's a no brainer because even if you're like up to 20, 25 minutes away, it's a nice little evening. You come here, five star setting, like she'll show you in a minute. Um, you got you got drinks, you got nibbles, you got a bar in there, you got a cigar lounge if you really want. So, yeah, come down, meet business owners, tell people what you do because it's good to establish brand, personal brand, and it enhances your visibility coming to monthly business networking events. So just make sure you come to my next one. Probably the tickets will be the tickets will be in the link below. I just flat mate, I was here last time. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're great. I'm doing really well, mate. Decent, yeah, yeah, she, she spoke about you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, she spoke about you, said that I'm Over with a flat up. mate and he's really <laughs> creative and all highly good stuff, yeah. Um, but yeah, nice to put the face to the name. Yeah, uh, my, name, my, yeah my name's Roberto. Um, okay. She, I, I just wanted to get your opinion on one thing. Yeah. If you've got a couple of minutes, like right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, basically, I've had, this, I've had this idea. I don't know if she spoke about it when, when she was with you last. But basically, I'm, coming, I'm trying to come up with this idea for or put, or put a business together. Yeah. So it's essentially like therapy for creators. Okay. That's the best way I can describe it right Yeah, yeah, now. yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's gonna get better. Is it to do with mental health and that sort of thing? Where it's suffering? It leans into that. It can lean into a little, that a little bit. Yeah. But it's basically bespoke, um, bespoke conversations yeah. with creative people that are struggling in their industry. So it's more holistic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got so, it, okay. So for me, I... Like, I I'm a creative myself, but yeah. I work in a corporate outfit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's horrible sometimes. It's really Tell horrible. me about it, yeah. It's really, really horrible. Yeah. So I know that there's a lot of other people out there like that. 100%. I think I'm trying to create a bespoke platform that puts you, the creative, in touch with a mentor. Got it. Specific, like, not, not specific, specific. Yep. But they cover a wide range of things. So if yep. you're like, um, I don't know, a videographer, say, you yep. speak to somebody with a lot of experience in videography. Yeah, got it. And they can help you get over your problems yeah, that, yeah. That, you're, that you're facing in your environment. Yeah. That's basically what That's about. a really good idea. Website, website's almost there. And why, why, what, so what's stopping you to do it? I came here today just to get some feedback, see what people thought. Yeah. Well, get feedback from people. I think that's a great idea. And look, the only way you're going to know is by testing it. Mm. Right? So sometimes what we can do is we can spend so much time and effort into overthinking and then it go into even more overthinking drive, thinking, is it going to work? So that, but the reality is that the market tells us if we put it out there. And the worst that's going to happen is that the market is not going to accept it yet because the timing's off. But you're going to get feedback. It gives you then room to pivot. Oh, you might think, oh, okay, well, right now the market not, might not be ready for that, but it might be ready for this one. But, but you're not going to know till you test it. Yeah, and sure. if you're suffering with it, and just you're a human being, so there's so many others like you who will do. Yeah. So, so all you have to really get really good at is, is speaking to the pain. So the pain that you go through when whatever the things happen, is what you have to speak to which because because that will speak to that person okay. does that make sense that does make a lot of sense thank you so speak to the 
to the pain. It was, uh, 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 you know, do you know Mahali, the artist? Have you heard of her? No. Really, 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 really cool artist. She, I was at a gig last night with her, and she said, be the change you want to see. Yep. Speak to the pain, be the change. And, and the thing is, because you're feeling it, you're, you're going through it, you will be the perfect. My name is Jill Chitzer, and I am the owner and founder of Sealed Links Permanent Jewelry. We came across this event via Instagram. Instagram is like the place for relevant information. I'm always there. I've been to a few networking events, um, so you kind of know what to expect. You meet people, you kind of have to step out there and talk to people, a variety of people, and it was sort of the same experience, a nice environment, um, great people. So we've got a lot of people in marketing, property, copywriting, IT, so you just get to bounce ideas off and also just relax and just have a good time with people who are in similar um, businesses to you and kind of hear their stories, which is really nice. We've got business owners here, we've got professionals here, we've got, we've got all sort of people here from all different backgrounds, just meeting each other, getting to know each other, handing their cards out and telling each other what to do, gathering leads. There's a lady there who does um, teeth whitening. She's only got two, three customers. So listen, business networking events are key to come to and meet where you can potentially get more leads, which then turn into customers. So see you on the next one. The tickets will be in the link below. Went to university at 15 yeah. in India, which is quite high level. Just give me one sec. Yeah. Um, guys, um, okay, so that was a great event. Fantastic um, event. Look, every month we're noticing like new people just showing up, aren't they? Because yeah. you, you came to the first one as well, innit? Or was this one. first one, the second one? Which one did you come to, the networking event? I think the first one, yeah. First one, yeah. And then you didn't come to the second one, then you came to the third one, innit? Yeah, yeah. And then now here you have fourth one. Listen, new faces, which is great in business networking because, sorry, business events because you've got people with different backgrounds. So, yeah, another great event finished off. I am a bit tired today. Um, I've just got this one last meeting with um, um, Sonny, innit? Yeah. Yeah, this guy's a genius. We're, gonna, we're definitely going to get into some sort of business. So, just having a chat and then going to get home and then, yeah, get this wrapped up for the next vlog so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one